good morning students sir. welcome back to maila samaja online classes sir. today i will teach you class 7 the subject science topic uh, heat heat flow or uh, transmission of uh, heat how does the uh, heat travel heat energy travels uh, from hot body to a uh, cold body heat is transferred from a uh, region uh, of higher temperature to a region of the lower temperature by three methods conduction convection and radiation conduction in solids convection in liquids and gases radiation do not require any medium in conduction the transference of heat by conduction so example one stir hot milk with a metal spoon now take the spoon uh, out from the milk and attach its edge with was dipped in hot milk you find it to be hot the metal object heat up when coming in contact with hot liquids or hot solids okay let us another example hold uh, one hand of a metal rod on a flame the hand the hand of the rod on flame gets a uh, red hot uh, after some time the other hand of the rod uh, you are holding gets uh, warmer and warmer till heat uh, so hot that uh, it becomes uh, difficult to hold uh, it any further if you have you, you have to drop the hot rod, uh, hot uh, rod the metal uh, rod is a uh, solid material uh, the heat energy in a uh, solids uh, is transferred from the from the point to higher temperature to the point uh, at a lower temperature uh, without uh, actual movement of the particles uh, from their position this method uh, of transfer of uh, heat is called uh, conduction conduction in the transfer of heat uh, some the solids uh, some of the solids the heat from flame is taken up by the particles uh, in the solid uh, this heat is transferred from one particle to another uh, till it uh, reaches the other hand the particles uh, only transfer of the heat uh, to neighboring particles uh, and they and they themselves uh, do not uh, move or change the change their uh, position uh, experiments of uh, conduction experiments of uh, conduction take a rod uh, or a flat strip or of a metal say uh, of aluminum or iron fix the few small wax pieces uh, on the rod these pieces should be nearly equal distances clamp the rod to stand if you do not find the stand you can put the one hand of the rod between the bricks now heat the other hand of the rod and observe what what happens to the wax pieces do the do these pieces begin to fall which piece of falls first the heat is transferred from the nearest to the flame to the other hand the process by which heat is transferred from hotter hand to the colder hand of the object is known as a conduction in solids generally the heat is transferred by the process by conduction to all the substances conduct heat easily you must have observed that the metallic pan or cooking as a plastic or wooden handle you can lift a hot pan by holding it from handle without getting a heart heat the water in a small pan or a beaker collect some articles such as steel spoon plastic scale pencil divider and dip one hand each of these articles in hot water wait a few minutes touch the other hand enter heat transfer from a hot cup to of a tea to spoon the heat transfer uh, transfer from one pot of to another pot okay next concept is conductors the materials which allow heat to pass through them easily are called conductors of heat for example aluminium iron and copper the materials which do not allow the heat to pass through them easily 
are poor conductors of heat such as plastic wood poor conductors are known as insulators the water and air are poor conductors of heat then how does the heat transfer takes place these substances okay next step is convection take a round bottom flask fill in a two third with water place it on a tripod make some arrangement to place the flask in such way that you can heat by placing candle below it wait till the water in the flask is still place the crystal of potassium permanganate at the bottom of the flask gently using the straw now heat and the water by placing the candle just below the crystal when water is heated the water near the flame gets hot the hot water is rises up and the cold water from the sides moves down towards the source of heat this water also gets hot and rises and water from the sides moves down this process continues till the whole water gets heated and this mode of heat transfer is known as convection how does the heat travel in air in which direction does the smoke go the air near the heat source of sources gets hot and rises the air from the sides comes in to take place this way the air gets heated light a candle keep one hand one hand above the flame and one hand on the side of the flame do your hands feels equally hot or if not which hand feels hotter and why the hair gets heated by convection therefore the hand above the flame feels hot on the sides however there is no convection and air does not feel as hot as at the top okay the next concept is a sea breeze or a land breeze the people living in the coastal areas experience an interesting phenomenon during the day the land gets heated faster than the water the air over the land becomes hotter and rises up the cooler air from the sea rushes in towards the land to take it place take its place the warm air from the land moves towards the sea to complete the cycle the air from the sea is called the sea breeze to receive the cooler breeze the windows of the houses in the coastal areas are made to face the sea at, at night it is exactly the reverse the water cools down more slowly than the land so the cool air from the land moves towards the sea this is called the land breeze okay the next concept is radiation when we come out of the sun we feel warm how does the heat from the sun reaches it cannot reach us by conduction or convection as there is no medium such as uh, air is the most part of the space uh, between the earth and the sun from the sun uh, the heat comes to us uh, by another process uh, is known as uh, radiation the transfer of heat uh, by radiation does not uh, require any medium it can take place whether a medium is present or not when we sit in front of a room heater we get a heat by this uh, process a hot uh, utensil kept away from the flame cools down uh, as it transfer of uh, heat to the surrounding uh, by radiation our body to gives uh, heat to the surroundings uh, and uh, receives the heat from it uh, by radiation all our bodies uh, radiate a uh, heat uh, when we heat is uh, fall on the some object uh, a part of its uh, reflected and part of uh, part of is observed and part may be is transmitted
next concept is a uh, kinds of uh, clothes we wear in uh, summer and uh, winter you know that uh, the summer uh, we, we, pre we prefer uh, the light colored clothes uh, and winter uh, we usually wear dark colored clothes why is it uh, so okay take it to identical uh, tin cans paint the outer uh, surface uh, one is a uh, black and uh, of the other uh, other is uh, white pour equal amount of uh, water in uh, each leave them uh, in a uh, midday uh, sun uh, for about an hour uh, measure the temperature of uh, water uh, both the cans do you find uh, any difference in the temperature in uh, in which uh, water can the water uh, water warmer you can feel the difference uh, he, even by touching uh, water in the two cans fill the two cans uh, are used uh, used in uh, with the same amount of uh, hot water at the same temperature the uh, leave the cans uh, from the room or in shade note the shed or note the temperature the water after 10 to 15 minutes uh, does the temperature of the water uh, both the cans fall on the same amount to this activity suggests that uh, you you the reason why it the more comfortable uh, wear the white colored or uh, light colored uh, clothes in the summer or uh, dull, dark colored uh, in the winter the dark uh, surfaces uh, absorb the more heat uh, and uh, therefore uh, we feel comfortable with uh, dark colored clothes in the winter the light colored clothes reflect uh, most of the heat uh, that falls them uh, and therefore uh, we feel more comfortable uh, wearing them uh, in the summer the next concept is a uh, woolen clothes uh, keep us warm in a uh, winter in the winter we use uh, woolen clothes wool is the poor conductor of heat moreover uh, there is a uh, air trapped uh, in between the wool fibers uh, these uh, hair prevents the flow of heat from our body to the cold surroundings so we feel warm suppose you have given to the choice in the winter using either a thick black thick blanket or two thin blankets or joined together what would you choose and why remember that there would be the layer of the hair between the blankets we wear the woolen in a winter the woolen yarn has a large amount of uh, air trapped uh, in between uh, its screens. Since uh, air is a bad conductor of heat, uh, it uh, prevents the loss of uh, loss of body heat. Uh, thus, uh, we feel uh, warm under the wool. Same is true about uh, the blankets are uh, made from wool fiber. Uh, twin blankets uh, are uh, warmer than uh, thick single uh, blanket this is because uh, more air is uh, trapped in between uh, two blankets uh, which uh, uh, which insulates the space